Okay, hi guys. Apologies for the weird angle, but as you can see, my setup was a bit difficult to fit into the frame of the video. So I just got this new screen, and uh, I've configured it in PicVM uh, as follows. I don't know if you can, how well you can see this. Let me have a look. Oh, you can't really see it well at all, can you? But so the screen is to the left, center, and right. Uh, not too crazy. I'm running the NVIDIA drivers, so this is all twin view. Uh, and NVIDIA settings should have exactly the same layout as my X router layout. Now, the problem I'm having in PicVM specifically is the detection of where the desktop ends when you have multiple desktops on uh, per. Um, per row. Is that row? Yeah. So right now you might be able to see I have a one dimensional layout just for testing. So I have six, six desktops uh, all stacked on top of each other. And in that mode, modality, uh, I can drag and drop uh, any window between all the three uh, physical screens. No problem. Works just fine. However, I Oh, now that works. Okay, I couldn't get that to work before. This is one annoyance, but I guess it's not super important. This is old. That uh, the, the 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 bottom screen boundary is only actually accessible on the on the two um, uh, screens on on the sides, uh, because actually the the mouse won't uh, let you access the lower portion or the or the top portion. But that that's not related to uh, why I'm making this video. However, if I now uh, change the uh, PicVM configuration on my outer large front, uh, but it'll be clear for you. So workspaces per row, let's change that to three and then reload the, the configuration. Now something really peculiar will happen. Look at this. What? And now it works? I spent so much time reproducing this problem. <laughs> How can it work now? Oh my god. Well, that's great. I'm very pleased with that then. How did that... I don't, I, I don't believe that for a second. Something must have happened. But if that's promising, then it might not be a problem in PicVM. Let's reboot. Clean slate. Yeah, also at the same time as buying the screen, I've got a new graphics card, one of those uh, NVIDIA <coughs> Strix, uh, yada yada, 970 for gigabytes. Uh, it's pretty wicked, but it doesn't let you select the uh, initial display uh, output port. <laughs> Hence, getting the video on that. Um, this is actually DVI, this is HDMI, and this is a display port, and so yeah, I can't really change the default. You can see it jumps here. Yeah. And in PicVM, I actually run an Xrander uh, uh, initialization script, which should should correct the monitor layout as soon as I log in. I shall see if it does that. That looks looks good so far. Now let's see if we can reproduce the problem after a reboot. Yeah, you see. You see that problem? Bang, bang. And now I bet you it won't do it on the bottom either. Nope, see, it won't scroll to the bottom. So for some reason, well, let me, re let me show you this again. So let's just jump to the far left. We've got three uh, desktops. Uh, on three physical screens. So, on the first step, see there, then it goes back to the middle here, um, and then it switches. But then on the last screen, see we're on the last one on the edge, then it'll work just fine. And then the same way back. See, it starts here now. Really weird. And I cannot scroll down I can't switch to the lower desktops 
by dragging and dropping. Now, okay, let me reproduce the fix, because that uh, surprised me quite a bit. So I'll uh, log into LXDE, which I don't usually use. Uh, and uh, and test it. Let's see what uh, give me a window. I want any window print settings. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, and now it's a similar layout on LXDE, except I only have one row. So that seems to work fine. Cut to the edge. That works fine. Go back. That also works fine. Go back also works fine. And go back again, also works fine. Now we leave <sighs> LXDE. <laughs> Beautiful screen clear there. Go back into PKM. And now presumably it will simply work. So I wonder what the hell LXDE, LXDE did to, uh, to correct the problem. And yes, See, it works just fine now. Why, I wonder. Any uh, any tips, recommendations, fault finding uh, stuff, anything you can give me, I would deeply appreciate it. Thank you very much.